And here we have J Runner. Very handy little tool released by Team Executor. The first step to J Runner is going to be to read the NAND. It automatically detects that it's a Trinity NAND type working on a slim motherboard. Here we have an error 250 reading block 6C. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. If that bad block was within the first 50 blocks, then I'd be concerned and I'd have to remap it. Anything within the first 50 has to be remapped manually. After the first 50, you can flash your NAND using raw flash and it'll automatically remap the block for you. Hopefully they put a auto remap in with JRunner in one of the updates. I'm going to let this run its course and pause the video for a moment. Just about finished with the first NAND dump here. I do want to point out at the end of this NAND dump you're going to see it automatically pop up with my CPU key. I've already previously completed this process here, I retrieved my CPU key and fully RGH this console so JRunner has it stored in it. See there, CPU key popped up, automatically decrypted the NAND. Yours won't do this, you'll have to retrieve your CPU key. I'll cover that process as well. And you see it just automatically restarted reading again. It'll read it twice and compare the two NANDs at the end of the two reads. Make sure that they are identical NANDs. And you can see it already popped up with the error 250 reading block 6C. Same as before. Nothing to worry about, once again. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again and let it run its course. And I'll be right back. It's just about finished up with the second NAND read. At this point, you should see over here on your side that it's decrypted some of this information. It should show all this information in this area right now. But this will be blank until you actually retrieve your CPU key. See down here it finished reading the NAND. It automatically compared the NAND and determined that the NANDs are the same. So now we're going to go ahead and flash our cool runner. It picks the files for you. You told it it's a trinity, or it determined it's a trinity, and did it on its own. Next step will be to create the ECC. It saves the ECC. Now you can just simply hit write ECC. And it will now write the ECC to the Xbox console. It's written to the first 50 blocks of the NAND. That's now done. The next step is going to be to hook the console up and retrieve your CPU key. All you really have to do is hook it up and plug an ethernet cord right into the back of it and power it on with the eject button. At the bottom of the screen it will show your IP address which you can punch in right down here and hit get CPU key. Or you can just write down the key and manually type it in. It will show it right on the bottom of the cell. Uh, I just went ahead and finished hooking up the cool runner into the console uh, and I hooked it up, booted it up to Zell. I got it running in the other room right now. So the next step was to retrieve the Xbox's IP address from the bottom of the screen which I have done and now you press get CPU key.
you see here is getting info from IP and it popped up with the CPU key here Boy, it sure is taking his time. Hmm. I guess it's already done. Now that we have the CPU key, we can press create image. Oh, I'm sorry. First you have to select your dash. 14719 is the most latest dash. Now create image. And this is creating your hacked dash image. Image is created. i read the details down here at the bottom. It's letting you know that if you have any bad blocks, it's recommending that you should flash using raw flash. For the sake of the video, I'm going to just go ahead and write the NAND to it. It's going to be writing the ECC, or the image that it just created. Ah, there's the problem. Forget to plug the council back in. Now we're writing the NAND that we just created back to the council. This will be a bit of a process here. And you get the same error. That's because I'm just writing it back. <coughs> If you were using raw flash, it would remap this bad block to the very last block of the NAND being 3FF. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and let this continue to write out here. And the next step will be hooking it back up, putting it all together, and booting it up. There we are coming up on the end of the right here. And there we have it. Should be able to plug it in, turn it on, and it'll boot up to what appears to be the stock dash. And from there you can put your XCX menus, freestyle dash, all that good stuff on it. Again, this is Kiel423 with EpicCouncils.com. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and visit my site. And I hope you all have a wonderful RG aging process.